here to give you a quick shading feedback on Jack here. I'm loving him. I think he's looking great. Just a few comments I have for you. I'm looking at your other views that you sent to. And I love the lit version. A couple of things that are coming to mind when I'm looking at him is I think the skin color is definitely on target, but he's feeling a little bit pale to me or a little bit light. I'd love to see a little bit more rosiness going on here and um, a little bit more color, I believe. And then also I will say, you know, I see you have like a pretty tight rim going on here, which is great. But then I would think, I'm not sure if um, the specular on, especially like the pants and the vest would be so tight like this, even with that really um, sharp rim light. So I would think I would broaden that out. Look, cause if you look at your reference, let me just pull this aside. Um, if you look at your reference, right? here at the pants it's it's pretty um the specular is pretty broad it's not as tight as that so i would adjust that those shader properties and then especially on the sweater if i'm looking at this sweater here it is a very uh soft specular highlight you wouldn't get that really tight um specular that you're getting there so like this so I definitely adjust both of these shaders to adapt more to that kind of cloth material and how, um, and you, you probably have this material at your disposal at home. It doesn't have to be like a men's trousers or a men's vest, but like you probably have a sweater or a pair of pants or something that is along this material. And I, this is where it, it's so beneficial to like pull out that material, feel it, see it put it up against like bright lights and see how it reacts and that's really how you can hone in your shaders and the other thing i will say that's kind of minor is looking at his um argyle texture here and the reference is you know i'm looking if i was just to look there's like four you know diamonds three down here and here it's a little bit larger and this is you know more of your personal preference um when, when I did look at this, it kind of was a little jarring that it was here. But if you want to match it closer to that reference with the scale, you can definitely afford to kind of scale it down similar to this. But that's also, like I said, that's your personal preference. The other thing I will say is the eye detail. Like, I'm loving this eye detail uh, right here, you know, that I'm seeing in, the, in your reference. And I'm talking about this reference right here and I'm not feeling it if I were to zoom in on your guy here I'm not feeling that depth that kind of interest here and it also depends like how how close up are you on this guy how far away because if you're not if you're this wide on him let's say and you want to kind of read that outline a little bit more around the uh the iris here then you can even go more kind of dramatic with it but that's kind of what i'm looking for like kind of this like darker outline more detail especially he has lighter eyes it's really nice to bring that in and when you're lighting him then you can really read his eyes um and other than that you know i think it's it's pretty spot on i feel like maybe also in the shirt now that i'm looking at it it might be a little bit too um specular here it's feeling like is he wearing like a silk shirt because it kind of it's starting to feel like a little silky here so i just watch out for that when you're doing that like along the same lines like i said when you're looking at the fabric for the vest and the pants also look you know at this and um other than that i think he's looking pretty good you could let me look at his hair really quickly um no, I mean, his hair is good. I was going to say you can even, you can make it a little tighter if you want, but you also don't want his hair to feel oily. I know that. So, um, that I think is okay. You can go slightly tighter with the speck on his hair. And then the other thing I'll say is his shoes. You're definitely getting that feel of his, sh um, the specular on his shoes. It'd be great 
if you can break it up a little with a little bit um this is where like the added detail really helps it's almost like a scratch mat you know if you look at this it's you see there is a sheen there well these shoes are much tighter in specularity than the ones you have but this one is definitely more along the lines of what you have here but if you see like it's kind of broken up where if i squinted here it's just like one block here and i know it kind of has to do probably with the wrinkles and whatnot in the wear in the shoe and um the more you can kind of mimic that feel that wear the less cg it's going to feel the more real um it's gonna feel so i would add, start adding details like that in there and then also when you broaden out this specular here on the pants i think it will bring in a lot more shaping here um going on like you see more so in the reference here so overall i think it's it's a great start it's awesome and i can't wait to see this animation um all lit up with all your characters. Okay, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, and I can't wait to see your updates. Talk to you soon. Bye.